My name is Layla Hadron, and I'm going to be reading from The Hunger Games. The mayor looked distressed. Since all of this is being televised, right now District 12 is the laughing stock of Panem, and he knows it. He quickly tries to pull the attention back to the reaping by introducing Effie Trinket. Bright and bubbly as ever, Effie Trinket trots to the podium and gives her signature, Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Her pink hair must be a wig because her curls have shifted slightly off center since her encounter with Haymitch. She goes on a bit about what an honor it is to be here, although everyone knows she's just aching to get bumped up to a better district where they have proper victors, not drunks who molest you in front of the entire nation. Through the crowd, I spot Gail looking back at me with a ghost of a smile. As reapings go, this one at least has a slight entertainment factor. But suddenly I'm thinking of Gale and his 42 names in the big glass bowl and how the odds are not in his favor. Not compared to the lot of the boys. A lot of the boys. And maybe he's thinking the same thing about me because his face darkens and he turns away. But there are still th thousands of slips, I wish I could whisper to him. It's time for the drawing, Effie Trinket says, as she always does, ladies first, and crosses to the big glass bowl with the girls' names. She reaches in, digs her hand deep into the ball, and pulls out a slip of paper. The, the crowd draws in a collective breath, and then you can hear a pin drop, and I'm feeling nauseous and so desperately hoping that it's not me, that it's not me, that it's not me. Effie Trinket crosses back to the podium, smoothes a slip of paper, and reads out the name in a clear voice. And it's not me. It's Primrose Everdeen.